Hello everyone, it's me Joe, back with another Tower of God reaction. Today, we're reacting to Tower of God Season 3 Episode 51 or Chapter 468. Super excited to react to this chapter, but first I want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing on all of the videos that I've been uploading these past couple of weeks. It's been insane, the channel growth and the number of subscribers and likes and everybody sharing it around and talking about it. It's been absolutely nuts, so thank you so much. I can't wait to keep creating content for you all, um, including these reactions. So last time, Bomb and Hua Ryun and Kun came up with this plan to basically have Bomb fight a ranker in the official like ranking bureau and defeat a ranker and then gain recognition and then that way the elders can sort of side with them in the upcoming battle. Essentially, that's sort of what's going on. So Bomb is about to fight a ranker. I thought that he beat the ranker last episode, like off screen, but someone said he's going to fight the ranker this episode. So we'll see what happens, but I'm super curious. Uh, Horyun actually just showing up was a big surprise, but let's do it. So the part of the wall, oh, also Cha was in the thumbnail, which made me so happy because he showed up and then like we never really saw him again. So I'm curious what's gonna happen with Cha. All right, the part of the wall where Yama is. Here we go, all right. All right, I get it. You can stop apologizing. Okay, then, yep, sure. Thank you, sir. We only defended the wall to seal to stop a war, not because we resented you, sir. These wall people are so much nicer. I said I get it. You need to stop apologizing to me. Oh, I see. How much longer is this going to go on for? You're gonna give yourself bag problems. So what now, Kel Halam? You're against fighting Jihad's forces because you're one of the refugees' elders, right? That's right. We couldn't possibly win against them anyway. Why would that matter? FEG's against Jihad. This battle taught us once, once again, that Jihad can see one step ahead of us. That's why I gotta implement Bomb, man, to screw things over. I know the irregular boy can turn the table around, but he's not so str he's not strong enough to stand up to them right now. That's fair. There's nothing we can do about Jin Sung Ha. We need to focus more on defense than offense now. I mean, I, can't, I see what they're saying. I see. But Doan left for Jihad's army. He found out, and I vowed to go with the irregular boy long ago. If he decides to fight, I'll join him. Oh my gosh, how badass is that? Looks like we'll have to go our separate ways. We sure could use, we could sure use your help though. I, to be honest, I thought that Doan was gonna join Mom. So I'm so, this is such an interesting like, uh, crazy plot twist in a way they're splitting okay the cage how is Yama taking all this not well not well it's all just so empty poor Yama man he doesn't deserve this man we canine people used to belong to the Lopo Bia family how crazy is that and our parents died because of them Holy, our parents! We're getting information on their parents! Yes, Racha. And the die, this is so freaking terrifying. It'd be so scary. And the ten great family leaders. I'll never forgive them. Oh my gosh, Yama's so cool. It's so like cool, it's so scary. Yama, we got a problem! Oh, okay. Evan kill? Bomb's gone! What? The Slayer candidate? He just suddenly disappeared in the middle of the night. I asked his friends, and it sounds like he went to the ranking bureau, never mind, I'm stupid, to fight a ranker! Oh wow, she's like... <sighs> so, I for some reason I was like, did Bomb go to the cage already? But then I, I forgot that he's there, so... What? Bomb's got this. Tower of God, 52nd floor of the nest, chapter 3. Ranking bureau, a ranch on the 50th floor. We've never really had a... <sighs> Every time that Bomb's fought a ranker, there's always been a stipulation. Like, they can't use transformation, or Kun and Rack is with him, or uh, he had this or this. This is gonna be one of the first times that it's actually a fight, so... Battle between regular Juvial Grace, I like that, that that's, how it, that's his official name, and test ranker Pan. Pan, I'll call him Pan. The ranking bureau official who witnessed this historic battle Recorded the battle as follows. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, okay. We're gonna see- Oh, shoot! They're both exhausted. The regular attacked the ranker with a Shinsu control skill I've never seen before. And the ranker, 
flustered by the regular's unexpected skills, was hit badly without being able to defend himself. Wow. <gasps> then, once the ranker came to his senses and started fighting properly, when the physically superior ranker would push the regular back, the regular would dodge the attack and use an advent advanced Shinsu skill to make up for the gap in damage. This makes total sense. What surprised me most about the regular was not only that his skills matched those of the ranker, but it was as if he had way more fighting experience than the ranker. That's crazy. Is this kid seriously gonna beat me? No way, I'll never let that happen! The ranker's attacks were simple. Sh sheer brute force relying on his superiority to try and dominate the regular. But the regular adapted to the situation much more quickly than the inflexible ranker. Heck yeah. He continued to grow throughout the battle. Oh, Bob is so cool. Damn it! He's dodging my attacks even better than before! He learned the ranker's offensive and defensive patterns. The more that Bomb fights you, the better he adapted. He adapts way better. He even, exactly. He even copied the ranker's skills exactly and used them against him. The ranker failed to take advantage of his own strengths in the battle, whereas the regular made up for his own weaknesses as much as he could. But you can tell that Bomb was really having to go all out. You know, he wasn't using the thorn or anything, but he, like, you could see him bleeding all over, actually. Like, Bomb, I mean, this is a ranker, you know what I mean? As a result, look at this. The gap between them closed more quickly than anyone expected. <laughs> I can't move! Oh! Rever reverse flow Shitsu control! And the regular only brought out his secret move at the very end. The, uh... The, the, I always forget the stupid name! F-U-G explosion! And ended the battle, yep. Check it out! Wow! That's actually so badass! Bomb fighting a ranker. Airwave. Yes, yes. Zero. Oh my gosh. It's just like airwave. Zero. And like it just explodes. Holy shit. It's just like. That was nuts. Oh my gosh. Bomb just took him out. That's so awesome. That was hype. I, for some reason, I thought it was off screen, but I'm so glad it wasn't. This is the first time that one on one. Bomb officially beat a ranker. That's so cool. News of the Slay- Okay, here we go. It's, it's gonna get crazy. News of the Slayer candidate's victory against the ranker spread through the tower like wildfire. Wildfire. I don't know why I said it like that. Afraid of causing a stir, the ranking bureau hoped to delay making the announcement for as long as possible, but Kunigoro Anya's had a, a reporter. <laughs> Ready to take a picture of the defeated ranker and spread the news. That's amazing. So the ranking bureau had no choice but to acknowledge the matter. That's actually awesome. They thought of everything. A mix of both countless facts and guesses, word got around that FUG's Slayer candidate, that's funny, is even more talented than Commander in Chief Adori Jihad of Jihad's army. Oh boy. Oh. And according to written interviews with the Slayer Candidate's acquaintances, anonymous, soon he's going to attack Jihad's army and rescue his master. That's so funny. Totally anonymous, uh-huh. A totally crazy turtle once he comes after you, there's no escape. Insane talent. I'm the leader. I'm the top dog. <laughs> I love this. People with a bone to pick with Jihad started suddenly started showing interest in the boy. And FUG's followers started saying they should help the boy with his battle. It went exactly as planned. Oh, I hope it just continues like this. Things heated up in the blink of an eye. Sophia. Even the FUG elders who had tried to ignore the boy could no longer deny his existence. All right, it's happening. Get ready. Wow. And when rumors that a ranker was defeated by a regular spread, many regulars rushed over to the ranking bureau to fight test ranker pet. Of course they did. And Pawn defeated them all. <laughs> Jeez, who the hell was that kid? <laughs> That's actually amazing. I never thought about that. And Pawn's just like, these guys were nothing. <laughs> That's the most, that's the funniest thing, but no one beat him. No one beat him, that's amazing! The problem was not with Pawn. The canine people reacted more strongly to the news than anyone. Oh, of course they did, they want revenge, dude. Yes, Racha's plan to crush the spirits of the canine people by turning them against each other completely fell apart. I love this! The canine people wanted revenge on Jahard's army. 
Their bravery gave Yama the strength to rise again once more. Oh my gosh, I'm, this is like the best. It's been a long time since we've gotten like, whoops, sorry. Since we've gotten like, uh, like not a time skip, but time passing by and then like describing what's happening with all these different groups and it's so cool. Yama brought together the canine rankers and their subordinates and began to, pro to project, and began a project to prepare the cage for battle. Oh, he's gonna take him back. He's gonna take back Jordan. He's gonna take back Verdici. He's gonna take back all the other canine people. Baragov told Yama he was liberated from Yasuash's power. That's true. He was, and immediately set out to discover its secrets. That's awesome. He's like, hey, I wasn't affected. And another unexpected person took part in the research. Oh my gosh, Kan Hong. Is that Shia Lulu? The war between the Baylord brothers also came completely to an end. Hold on, I wanna make sure I understand what's going on here. So I think, I'm not sure if that's Shia Lulu. Wait a minute, this is the unexpected person. Kan Hong obviously wants revenge. Who is this? Weird, I don't know. They, their war ended, that's great. They acknowledged Yama as king. That's awesome. In order to achieve the common goal of revenge against Jihad's forces. They all did bad things, but they came together. That's great. Thanks to the flawless leadership of the second and third in command, the sleeping king of the dogs finally woke from his sleep and became a true slayer. What a badass. So I'm assuming second in command Doom, third in command Paul. Wow, I'm assuming. Karaka and the high rankers split up to gather forces for themselves. Freaking Madarako. Also, Madarako, in exchange for the ladle, he promised to use his business contacts to get weapons and supplies. He just wants that ladle. Okay. And Cha showed up at Evankel and Bomb's training grounds, begging on his knees to serve Bomb. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> these, little, these little badges. Bomb was so flustered he didn't even know what to say. That's awesome! I can't even... Oh, it's so cool! So Cha told him about the first people, past kingdoms like the Five Flower Nations and the Mechanical Nation, his master, and the little bit he knew. Wow, okay. <clears throat> about Bomb's mother. No, he knows about Bomb's mother? He knows about Arlen? We're not gonna... I swear if they don't tell us. Once he finished his training, the boy was the first to leave. And along with Haruyun's messages for everyone, I'm hoping everyone else trained, he left a message calling for anyone who wants to fight to meet him in front of the nest in a week and vanished. This is like the hypest thing ever. So you left, huh? I heard from Evangel. Yes. Did you get my message? I think that's bomb. Yeah. I don't get it. Do you want me to come or not? If no one else shows up, are you gonna charge into the nest all by yourself? Of course he is. Yes. I had the wrong idea before. I'm not forcing anyone to fight with me. It's their choice. Are you insane? And I'm sorry. For what I said when we first met. Maybe I deluded myself into thinking I was the only one fighting for justice. I like this. A lot of people got killed and hurt in that fight. But there was nothing I could do about it. It's alright. Now that I'm finally taking proper care of our own people, I realize I was being an idiot before. That's awesome. So what do you want to do now? Don't you want to win? I love that we're getting so much Yama. And like we've been hearing about Yama for a long time in season two. And like now he's become like a regular character. For now anyway. No. Whether it's right or wrong. I just really want to destroy Jahad's army and bring back my master. Bomb. Wow. He's just like, no, I don't care if it's right or wrong. This is what I'm doing. Bomb. He's grown so much. <laughs> I kind of like you now. <laughs> All right, take care then. Is Yama gonna show up? See you in a week. Let's go. This is the hypest chapter ever. Ooh, we're gonna get the other side. A bit earlier, two days after the battle at the wall, Kalavan's warship. Freaking Doan. I really can't find much about our battle. We fought so hard though. It's kind of sad that no one remembers it. Oh, like the past. Hmm. I told you how the battle ended. He didn't do enough jam damage to Jihad's army for them to record it. There are hardly any decent records of the battles from that time. 
Still, I'm so disappointed. We even fought the early descendants of the ten great family leaders, so there's not much history available. That's kind of sad. Come on. You said you lost your squadron commander title because you didn't kill that boy, right? Does that mean you're trying to become a squadron commander again? For now, yeah. You're sure ambitious. Must be nice to have something to fight for. I guess I could help you first. I've lost my purpose for fighting. And I don't know anyone nowadays anyway. Wow. I like Doan. If Jihad completely won the war, there probably aren't any survivors from that time. But her and Cha are split. That's so sad. Yeah, that's true. No survivors. Forget about it. Forget about it. We'll be meeting up with the rest of the squadron soon. I think that's Calavan saying that. Oh, look at those! Look at that ship! Oh, that's crazy. Inside this ship of Squadron Number Four, who is this? Do we know this? The same color hair as the guy they said unexpectedly arrived, but it can't be. I never thought I'd see Doan working for Jihad's army. This isn't good. It's Kunhind Luck. Of course it is. He's still alive. Kunhind Luck is still alive. Look at him, he does kind of look like Kel Halam. Some people were saying he's the same person. This isn't good. New division commander of squadron number four. Kunhind Luck, I can't believe it. He's also working for Jihad. That's crazy. What about the miniature rack dude? The, the other rack dude, I should say, not miniature. He had like the, the ram's horns. Who's this? Sergeant Kaladon reporting for duty. I just returned from completing my mission. Division Commander Chon Ha! It's Chon Ha! Oh my gosh! Oh, so he is under Chon He. Well, obviously his rank is lower. I didn't realize he was working. This is Chon He? Whoa, she looks different. Good work. Thank you! You're such a good soldier. The new squadron commander wants to see you. Get moving. Yes, Commander. New squadron commander? Who's the new squadron commander? Excellent work, sir. Oh, she's cool. I like her design. Welcome back to the squadron. Oh, so he got promoted. Okay, a little bit, I think. Or at least he's a part of the squadron now. Again. Squadron commander's office. Who is it? What the? Who is this? He look, kind of looks like Calavan. Good job with that mission, Sergeant Calavan. High ranker Pobidal Liboric Kuhn. It's, a, it's another Kuhn. Newly appointed fourth squadron commander. This is a Kuhn that does not look like a Kuhn. This is the first time we've seen a Kuhn He's a Poby Dao Coon. That's crazy. This is the first time we've seen a Coon that does not look at all like a Coon. Poby Dao Le Laboric. I'm gonna call him Laboric because Liboric just sounds too hard. Laboric Coon. Interesting. So many characters. I'll grant you. I'll grant your special promotion to Company Commander. That's the promotion and your return to the squadron. Thank you, sir. This must be the new squadron commander. Are you Doan? Yeah, that's right. I didn't expect you to volunteer to join our army. I hope you're not up to anything. Up to anything? Of course not. But even if I were, it wouldn't be any of your business. I like Doha. She's cool. I suggest you don't get any foolish ideas. We have your greatest weakness. What? <gasps> I'm not sure if you heard, but your companions lost their foolish battle with Lord Jihad in the past. Is, do they have hostages like Kunhain Luck? And there was even a traitor among them! Oh, they, they did say that! That there was a traitor! Kuhn Hind Luck betrayed them. Oh! Most of your team died, but we captured two of them! There he is! And are still holding them hostage. We took them to the battlefield with us. That's so sad because he was working with Kuhn Hind Luck. It's kind of like Rack and Kuhn. Oh, man. What? Where are they? His horns do like Wang Nan, look like Wang Nan's horns. We took them to the battlefield. That's crazy. Two of them are still alive. If I decide you're completely on our side now, I'll let them go. So don't do anything stupid. She did not expect that. <laughs> she is so pissed. She's called a forget me not, but she's a badass. That night, Doan was lost in her thoughts as she looked at the countless warships in the sky. Should she be, be should she be relieved that some of her companions are still alive? Or should she despair that the tragedy is repeating itself? When she faced them in battle, Jihad's forces seemed so powerful, but now that she's here among them, she realized they're just as fragile in the face of war as anyone. If it weren't for the boy she met at the wall, maybe they would have never been in danger. Although she hated herself for thinking that, 
Doan ultimately made a promise to herself. And as promised, oh, it's, it's, they have Apple, that's right. One week went by quickly. Look at, <gasps> Quattro, my boy. Oh, he's gonna get revenge for Chang, dude. Who is this? Dang, although she hated herself, weren't for the boy. Oh my gosh, I, this is a little unclear to me. You know, this, I don't think we're, I don't think we know what the promise is. I love this, oh my gosh. Hockney, wow. Hotson Kuhn, uh, Hotson Shibisu, that's who it is. Oh, Han Song, I love how you're seeing everybody. A week after Bomb left for the nest, a month and a half after the heroes were freed from the wall, Bomb left already. The promised time finally came. This is gonna be the hypest arc ever. Uh, 50th floor, near the nest in a sea of debris. Here we go. New clothes for Bomb. We needed new clothes for Bomb. Get ready, Bomb. We'll be at the meeting place soon. Do the clothes fit you? He looks awesome. They were made specifically for the nest, so take good care of them. I will. Oh my gosh, that's hype as heck. All right, we're landing. Are we gonna see the team? Everybody who's here? Oh, it's just these two, I think, for now. Huaryun, ever at Bomb's side. These are the massive bricks left over from when they built the defensive wall around the nest. They're made of a type of material that reacts strongly to the floating stone. So they keep floating under the influence of the giant floating stone in the nest, I see. The endless sea of debris makes it very difficult to get near the nest. And unless you've got a squadron floating ship or a guide like me, there's a good chance you'll get killed in the debris. Wow. That's why not many people know where the nest is. Whoa, look at this. That giant wall with a cross-shaped space in it over there past the debris is the only way into the nest. This is crazy. That's probably where Jihad's forces are gathered. We've got to get past three of those walls to reach the center. I'm not gonna lie, this is almost an impossible mission. Three of these, oh my gosh, three of those walls. Look at the uh, Jihad's army. It's almost time. What are you gonna do? What if no one comes? Well, I guess that would make it harder to save my master. But my intention was from the start was to sacrifice myself if I have to. Wow, look at them all over there, seriously. So maybe it'll actually make this easier in a way. Aww. Um, even if I have to go alone, look at this. I'm going to rescue my master. This is the coolest thing. Although the boy doesn't realize it. This is an interesting narration. Soon, right here, a battle is about to begin. A battle to mark the start of a new chapter in the tower. The start of a very long war in which countless people will put everything on the line their past and future, their hope and despair, reality and ideals. Um, that might have been like one of the best chapters ever. <laughs> that was amazing. Everything about that chapter. It really did sound like an end of season chapter. Wow. And this is the first time that I've read a chapter since the anime footage came out. How hype is that? Wow, this was amazing. We got to see Bomb versus versus Pawn or Pan. We got to see Cha and Bomb. We got to see all this news and all this these updates about the rankers. We got to see Dongwan and Kalavan's side of things and find out more about everything that's going on. Got to meet so many new characters. A few new characters anyway. Well, they, actually, it was only just a couple new characters, wasn't it? But they were both so fascinating and interesting. Both Coons and... We already saw Kuhnheim luck in the past. Dang, that was so good. I'm so excited to keep reacting to this. This is... I'm, I'm actually so excited for next chapter, The Nest. This is about to get crazy. Oh my gosh. Yama's gonna show up. Um, hopefully, Evankel and Han Sung show up. That'd be pretty cool. All the K9 people, of course, are the ones who want to fight. Uh, Bomb's friends. I'm assuming if they want to participate, I'm assuming they're going to have to. Oh my gosh. But anyway, guys, that's my reaction. Uh, hope Leave a like, and that supports the channel a lot. I really appreciate it. And you can subscribe for more Tower of God reactions every single Monday. That, that chapter, I mean, I'm still getting over it. My mind is blown. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, if you want me to uh, make other kinds of Tower of God videos, you can let me know also in the comments uh, down below. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all next week.